I would say that the nuance with voting and blockchains in the U.S. Uh, political system is actually much more around identity than it is about than it is around using blockchains. I think the interesting nuance in the U.S. is that identity and a federally issued identity is a very sensitive topic. It's a very politically charged topic for both parties. And so before you even process voting voter rolls, or before you confirm that a voter hasn't switched states and isn't voting twice, so they're not double spending their vote, and before you, 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 you have ways to guarantee proper node distribution to make sure that voting rolls aren't manipulated and, and you know, that, that external state actors can't get in and manipulate them. Before you get into all those interesting questions, your, your first question is, is how are we going to create a, an identity layer for, for someone to, to prove their identity as a registered real voter? And this is a political topic that is very sensitive that I think, you know, it's, it's not a technology issue. It's, it's a political issue about whether Democrats and Republicans, who both have their own fears about creating identity, um, even if it was a narrowly focused form of identity on voting, that, that issue will have to be resolved before, uh, you know, you have this back-end technology, blockchains and Oracle networks working together to, to create, you know, a, a voting system. With something like that, how far away are we? Is the technology already there and it's a matter of the willpower or is it something that would take some time to develop to make it, you know, ready for use in such a such a sensitive, significant uh, application? It's 100 percent willpower, 100 percent. Technology is ready to go. Oracle networks ready to go. Some cases, even identity systems, everything's ready to go. It's um, it's just a question of how the U.S. government wants to approach the topic of identity. They want they, they they want to approach the topic of identity for financial transactions in very specific ways. How they want to approach the topic of identity for for voting is a very unresolved issue, and that's not an issue that a technology platform or standard or open source uh, way of doing something like identity can resolve. So we can absolutely provide the technology that would enable you know, highly secure systems using blockchains and Oracle networks to do things like log verification and other key you know, cybersecurity activities. We can absolutely enable in the proper use of data and compliance on chain. And you know, voting is really just another type of on-chain data that would have to be synchronized across chains. Uh, so that, that's something that can definitely be done.